Hello everyone, great to have your company on Kalkine TV. I'm Sage and you're watching The Buzzing Trends. In today's show we'll be looking at five reasons behind the stagnant prices of gold in detail. We'll also take a look at why the gold miner Northern Star Resources net profit soared 300% in the financial year 2021. So let's begin. As the gold prices have recently crossed 1800 US dollars per ounce after gaining nearly 1.4% on indications that the US Federal Reserve might delay plans to cut the economic stimulus packages. The prices of gold have tumbled nearly 6.83% in the last one year, while several other commodities have performed well. In the last one year, Brent crude oil has gained about 56%, while natural gas has gone up by 55%, and copper prices jumped by about 43%. So far in 2021, gold has given a negative return of 5.38%. On that note, let us understand the five reasons behind the stagnant prices of gold in greater detail. To begin with, this first reason is investment shift to other assets. The demand for gold has an investment has been dismal during the year as investors have been switching from the safe haven assets to riskier investment instruments with the preference for gold being driven by the recovery in the global economy and as the global economy is known to be reeling from the impact of coronavirus and supply shortages for vaccines being faced by different countries of the world and moving on now to the next contributing factor in our analysis of the gold prices today which is strengthening of the US dollar and the gold prices are inversely related to the value of the US dollar. The prices tend to fall with the growing strength of the US dollar and vice versa. In view of the leading market analysts, the investment banks, easing of market uncertainties and strong performance figures reported by key economic indicators will keep the US dollar stronger than other currencies. And that's why dimming the gold's appeal in the future. Let's now look at the third factor which influences the gold prices. And the third factor is the rising bond yields. As gold and bond yields share an inverse relationship with each other, rising bond yields may contribute to the slump witnessed in the gold prices. And additionally, there are important costs of holding gold too, as it doesn't bear any yield. So recently the US Federal Reserve announced its plans to increase interest rates in 2023 and subsequent to the announcement the US dollar gained strength against the major global currencies. Moving on now to the next factor affecting the gold prices is rising cryptocurrencies. There has been a huge shift for investors money from gold to cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin and Cardano during the past year. Analysts believe that Bitcoin has drawn billions of assets away from gold and there is an inverse relationship between gold prices and cryptocurrencies. To explain this further, the prices of gold go down when the prices of Bitcoin rise and vice versa. With the trend being in favour of cryptocurrencies, the euphoria is rising among young investors for cryptocurrencies, subduing the demand for gold. And the last factor which has been seen impacting gold prices is the waning number of coronavirus cases. In early 2020, the sudden spike in coronavirus cases had led to a surge in gold prices as investors across the globe had switched to gold to hedge their investment risks from the resulting market's volatility. However, in 2021, the global economic scenario has revived significantly with the launch of extensive vaccination programs and government-backed economic stimulus packages. The recovery has also been reflected in the equity markets and other investment avenues. So the bottom line here is that with the increasing popularity of cryptocurrencies as an asset class, cryptocurrencies could also pose a threat to the yellow metal. Also, the precious metal may have to deal with other challenges in the wake of strengthening US dollar and favorable investment climates being the norm in the foreseeable future. Well, that's about the gold's current price scenario, but I do have more details to share on a special report on the Australian-based gold producing company Northern Star Resources. But first, let's take a small break. Hi there, James Preston for Calkine TV. 
Are you into gaming and virtual reality? Does AI and the endless possibilities it entails capture your interest? Or are you constantly trawling through the web to try and discover the latest updates and innovations in the tech space? Well, let us do the work for you. From the latest product launches to shocking affairs on the World Wide Web, exclusive interviews and information about the top companies like Apple and Google to brand new tech startups vying for your attention. Kalkine's Tech Beat has the latest in what matters in the world of technology. Join me every single Thursday on The Tech Beat, exclusive to Kalkine TV. Welcome back, Sage here. And before the break, we looked at five reasons for gold's currency price scenario. Let's now take a look at how the Australian-based gold producing company Northern Star Resources has been performing recently and evaluate its future prospects based on the current market outlook. So Northern Star Resources has delivered a strong performance in the financial year 21 on the back of record productions. Also, the company reported a massive increase of 300% in its net profit after tax, reaching 1.032 billion Australian dollars for this period as a result of its merger with Saracen Minerals. Northern Star Resources is now the world's sixth largest gold mining company. The gold space player currently holds various projects in Australia's Kalgoorlie and Western Australian regions. Moreover, it operates the Pogo project in Alaska, United States. Northern Star Resources has beaten its financial year 2021 guidance on the back of record production and earnings after its successful merger with Saracen. The financial year 21 results demonstrate a robust outlook for profitable production growth with regard to dividends. The North Northern Star Resources introduced a new dividend policy during the financial year that targets a total annual dividend payment of 20 to 30 percent of cash earnings. Additionally, the company has announced a fully franked final dividend of 9.5 cents per share. This brings the full year dividend to 19 cents per share, up 11 percent year on year. Strong cash earnings in the financial year 2021 backed by record production volumes and a steady Australian dollar, the gold price reflects the strength of Northern Star Resources' underlying business. The company had cash and bullion of 799 million Australian dollars as on 30th June 2021 and with a clear five-year pathway to annual production of 2 MOZ a year by financial year 2026, the company remains committed to generating strong returns. And hopefully that's been informative for you, but with that it's time to wrap up today's show. I hope you found uh, that it was informative and please stay tuned for more news and updates on Kalkine TV live and this is Sage signing off.